my God, I'm at Harmontown, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you are too. How lucky are all of us. Make some noise. So good to see you. Please welcome to the stage the most wonderful, the incomparable Spencer Crittenden. moment. King, rule, shocker, maker, breaker. You know him as Dan Harmon. Let's call him Dan Harmon, the mayor of Harmontown, Dan Harmon! Thank you. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you. I want to thank you so good to me I want to have gratitude When I was just a little boy I couldn't thank anyone for a toy So my rhymes were weak But then my mom took a peek down my diaper and she saw Damn German tank. Incest. Damn. Okay. Right. Right. Thanks. It's, it's, it's knowing when to take the art away, it, 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 as Donald Sutherland says in Six Degrees of Separation. Uh, <clears throat> I, uh, I, got, I got one of those uh, zits right in the crease of my nose. No. What is, what is skin thinking? Like, what, 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 how hard? What, I, I, know, I, I already know the answer. I know the answer. There's no God is the answer. It was it, 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 what we have, uh, what we arrived at over billions of years of, 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 of improv. Like it, other, otherwise, someone would say, you know, I think I can figure out a better way to coat a gingerbread man in, like, latex, you know? Like, and, like we wouldn't have to have fucking, like, systems of sebum and fucking yeah. like, like, like ingrown epidumises, uh, like, like it's, it's insane. And, and to, all topped off with, you know, there's a, uh, there's a, the most important part of your skin, the, it, the fact that it's covered, completely covered, every square centimeter of it in microscopic uh, flora and, uh, and a little fauna and, uh, <laughs> Because if it weren't there, then there's all these things in the air that would land and they would go like, hmm, I'm going to set up shop here. You are protected every minute of every day by the fact that you are infested by uh, uh, beasties that live in harmony with you. Um, life is a prison. It's a prison cell. There's a lot of people in the cell with us. It's yeah. true. You're, you're, you're alive because you're a bitch. You traded your integrity to see another day behind bars. You could have gone out a man. I know I sound like I'm quoting a movie or something. I, a movie about a guy who goes to prison and, and has to choose between dying brave and living cowardly. Uh, okay. It was really professorial as yeah. well. Uh, I got a, I got a, I got a new phone case. It's real big. Okay. Uh, and it's got. It what, uses, uh, what made it? Uses you, a magnet instead of the thing. It oh. just, it's just a magnet. What, uh, what made you replace it? I'm just. I got a new phone, and I, you know, I just got to get the new case for the new phone. You know, it's just different does, size. Does that one take those 3D pictures? Uh, yeah, the and emojis. No, no. I've been seeing on Facebook. There's these 3D photos of dogs. So you'll oh. be scrolling through Facebook, and then there'll be this 3D dog staring right at you in 3D. Mm -mm. 
No, and I it's don't. like, well, photos aren't in 3D. This is crazy. And it's just this big old dog staring right at you. Like coming out of the screen? Oh, coming right out. Yeah, it's weird. You don't, because it doesn't look like it'll work, but like the parallax of the screen and the photo movement as you scroll through it, it has this weird, you know, 3D effect to it. But hmm. I thought it was some iPhone thing, and maybe it's not. Mm. I wouldn't know. Yeah. I'm not plugged in. Me neither. I used to know all, I used to work at Apple. I used to know all the Apple stuff. Now it's like just sad. <laughs> Whenever I show people my, my, my phone case, they, they go, oh, it's, so it's like a wallet. You got your credit cards in there and stuff. And I go, yeah, I do. I get your cash and all that stuff. And then they always, every single person, they always want to like, uh, this is just like some weird human instinct. They, they go, so you, you, should, you know, don't, don't you think that's a little dangerous? Because now if you lose one thing, you lose, you lose everything. Like, would you just just think about what your brain is doing right now? Like, <laughs> like you're you're you <laughs> you're 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 holding vigil over a, a a society, an ideal society where we aerosol our property to the to the extent that all of it's expendable. <laughs> what are you yeah. talking about? Everyone's got like four things in their pocket. Yeah. Uh, if, if you lose any of them, you're fucked. Nobody wants to lose any of them. You don't want to lose your keys, your phone, or your wallet. Right. So why the fuck? Would I, yeah, no shit. If I lose one thing, I'm fucked. Why would you? It's, it's, I, I th what is that instinct that we have? Like, you're like, oh, yeah, if you think about it, you're kind of fucked. Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm no more fucked than you. I have one thing to remember and one thing that fucks me, and you have four things to remember, and each one fucks you a quarter. Like, who cares? What, what is this quibbling? You, you, you're, you're, you're a nonsense person. You should be ashamed of yourself. Here's, here's something that you, you lost a long time ago. Your shame. <laughs> Let me get you a big case for that, so that when you lose it, you know. You should have put a hubcap on that shit. It's been gone since the 70s. <laughs> it's I, I, would, I would buy a shame case. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need no shame case. I got, also, if that were true, you'd be like, you wouldn't put shit in your house because people would say the same shit to you. Like, now that your yeah. shit's in your house. Well, how about your fucking skull? Who, yeah. what do you, cut your whole brain in one skull? <laughs> What are you tired? Oh, just just the two eyeballs then? So, uh, both necessary for depth perception? Yeah, I did one pancreas. What are the? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> who are you? Yeah. Are, are you an ant? Is it, are you an insect person here to like 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 you're like? Oh, not very modular, are you? <laughs> your your identity isn't uh, isn't sprayed in a wide enough cone for me to give you a license to be safe. What I don't like about that critique is that it fundamentally relies on someone essentially explaining to you what it means for things to be grouped together. <laughs> it's like, yeah, no, those things are together. That's a good point. The same way as if I'm wearing a watch and my arm gets cut off, I'd have lost my watch. <laughs> because those things are together. Or if my head was cut off, my glasses, they'd also be off my body. Because these things are together. My head hair would also be off my body, being with the thing that was removed from my, because they're together, that's what that means. So, I mean, on the one hand, it's bullying you, but on the other hand, it's like, hey, what do you think it means when stuff is associated with other stuff? Let me break this thing down to you. Yeah, that, that's what it really is. And, that, and that, that's being like, that's being like empathic and going like, well, what's really happening in their brain? They're, they're trying to connect. Right. They're like, I know what things are when they're next to each other. They're next to each other. Right. <laughs> right. They're just saying something. Right. That's, that's, and it's, it doesn't make me less pissed, but I think I'm growing because instead of just getting pissed, I'm getting pissed and having the thought which is anytime someone says something that pisses me off, it's just they had a thought and they were like, oh, I want to share this thought. And they did it and they didn't think about the ramifications of that action and how much it would piss me off, but they were just so excited that they said whatever dumb fucking shit that they did 
before passing it through a filter. And I'm still fucking pissed, but recognizing that feels like growth. <laughs> I don't know. And that wasn't... <laughs> That's just free association. That wasn't me trying to apply my situation to yours. I'm not trying to be <laughs> it, mad at those applies, people. Don't applies. get me wrong. Okay, that last applies. part was a setback. But yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Sorry, I, uh, I was just in a trance. <laughs> I mean, and then, and then you know, I, uh, I think you and I could both say then also, uh, well, it's these, this other person who maybe they, maybe they're just... Uh, their uh, their their little Honda generator. It runs runs a little faster. It's got but it's got less CCs. I don't I don't know what the, like what the metaphor would be like because it doesn't do us any good to be because the reason we're mad. Okay, let me start over. <laughs> <laughs> the reason we're mad when it happens is because it's not fair because we feel anguish and anxiety and shame, right? Sure. Isn't that isn't that why you get mad when someone cuts you off on the freeway? Really, it's not it's not like I mean, some if they if they almost kill you, like 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 I mean, there's adrenaline and there's holy shit. If anything, usually when it's a really close call, you actually kind of feel a sense of elation and don't remember the other person exists until a couple seconds later. But um, uh, it's like the thing that pisses you off about the lack of consideration. In yeah. it, it's it's always it doesn't it isn't the root of that hair. It's not fair because I put myself through so much in order to not be that person, and that person isn't even d doing it. And I yeah, to me, I mean, it sounds like the same feeling, but to me, it's like. How dare you even assume I haven't put that work in? I'm putting all the fucking work in. You put the work in and realize I put the work in and shut the fuck up. Because it's like, I'm trying over here. What are you doing? Yelling at me for you think I'm not trying? You're fucking blind. Shut up. <laughs> not like blind, blind. You can't see. Yeah, whatever. Right. I'm, it's good. I live with it. How are you guys doing? <laughs> I guess there is uh, that is too. It's you get it's it's it, you 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 mad because they're they're insulting you. Right. To me, it just feels like yeah, I'm smart. I know this stuff. Are you gonna like? It just feels like they're trying to like pretend I don't know this stuff. That's like yeah, no fucking shit. Things are next to each other. But, and maybe maybe I'm just kind of maybe. maybe. Are we supposed to then like? Because I'm sure w w w when we're talking. I'm sure constantly you say something, and then I say something back that you knew I was gonna say, and that I and that it, and that I knew that you knew already. But sure. That, that's like we're just like hitting the thing. But I, there's categories of doing that 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 piss us off. Right. Like I think like like two zebra scientists could probably make small talk and go like, oh, there's a new zebra in the paddock. And then, and then the other one says, like, hope this one doesn't get herpes, like, because the zebras keep getting herpes in the paddock. <laughs> You're not supposed to know. I'm filling this in as we go. <laughs> it's a nonlinear, it's a, it's a Showtime original, this show. <laughs> uh, the, but, but, but kind of the guy, the zebra expert wanted him to say that because he's, he didn't want to have to say, there's a new zebra in the paddock, and now I'd like to talk about the last one getting herpes. Like, yeah. he doesn't want that burden. He wants to be able to actually just, like, bump the shuttlecock up, up, up near the net. Right. We have this agreement that we're going to um, talk about things that two people would talk about mutually. Not, uh, not anything in the history that we can't relate on, not any future dreams that we, we can't really jump in on. We, we as people have this contract where we're like, we're friends because you know when to change the subject. Right. The it's timing. That, the per, yeah, and the person that you don't like is a person who doesn't know when to change the subject. That's a, like the most basic part of friendship is like, you're friends with a kid that you're friends with some, from six years old on because every time you brought up Pace, that motherfucker was like, yeah, you should see Pace. It's going to be great. <laughs> or that motherfucker was like, I don't like Pace. And you were like, yeah, fuck Pace. Like, that's the contract. Right. So we get really frustrated with people when it looks like they're trying to slime us or cheat on the fucking contract. 
and not putting a lot of thought into what you're going to say, it's cheating on the contract. And we try to do that shit. Right. So, so we're, we get pissed. We get insecure. We're like, wait a second. Am I being fucked? Am I being fucked? I'm being fucked. Right. You knew goddamn well you were supposed to bring up the Green Bay Packers. Right. <laughs> I said, man, I sure do love Wisconsin. And you looked at me talking about pasta's delicious. <laughs> Sometimes that's called an emotional bid. Right. Yes. That was like the first thing I learned in couples therapy, emotional bids, which actually I have to say, I hope Cody doesn't listen to this because I have to cop to the fact that lately, well, she understands. I, I apologize to her today. I've been buried in my laptop. Like I'm kind of hiding from some shit. And uh, like I'm hiding from shit next to her, and I'm using my laptop, and we we love each other and stuff. But nevertheless, I have been. I'm looking at the last week, and I have not been matching emotional bids. Emotional bids are just yeah. just anything. It's the pixel of relationship communication. Uh, you know, we've I've, 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 that that was, that was the first thing because it was like, oh, if someone says. Look! Look out the window at the St. Louis Arch while you're driving past the St. Louis Arch. Oh God! You're, you, 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 I, 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 I hate it. Don't make me look at stuff. Right. I hate I talk, like, 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 like every time someone makes me look at something, I there's a transaction happening, and I'm, I'm like, I'm like, it's all kinds of fucking horrible yeah. shit. Like circuit boards that were designed to be mounted in defense satellites that are in an era that is bygone. This equipment is not needed anymore. It is only hurtful. And, 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 but it's like the, the, the numbers I'm crunching. It's, it's like, hey, look at this thing on my phone. Like, and I it's just like, like one little part of my brain going like, you just made me look at something. Oh, that's cool. And <laughs> it, yeah. 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 It is no, like, no, you fucking cop. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you're not supposed to think. It's, it's like it's an emotional bit. If it's even if it seems futile, somebody's saying like it's like small talky stuff or whatever. The, the, oh, look at that. Look at this. Look at that. It's somebody checking in and saying, "Are you with me?" Like, yep. what's more redundant than holding hands? It's already a hand. Like, what? <laughs> if anything, you're. <laughs> If anything, you're you're taking two hands off the grid. Uh, you're actually you're actually downgrading half of each of your hand supply. It's certainly not practical, and it's definitely not uh, edifying. <laughs> it's, it doesn't like <laughs> teach you new things about your hand. Um, uh, and yet, we definitely do it. And we do it. Eighty-five-year-old people do it uh, in our in our dream of how we'd like to go out. I think most of us. Not me, man. <laughs> Shut up, polyamorous Paul. <laughs> you know, and you know what I don't like about PP is like his partners ain't shit. <laughs> I just I don't like how lugubrious he is. Like yeah. I like my polyamory to be a little more le have a little more right. levity to it. Right. Put on well, a suit. Why don't you write down well, how my polyamory should be and I'll read the script for you. Wow. Paul. <laughs> you know, we 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 let you come to these shows and we mic you uh <laughs> Yes, yeah, so. Wow, yes, yeah, so. You I didn't ask grateful. for that. You should be grateful, PP. I have sex with multiple partners. Oh. What's your hang-up? Why are you hung up about? We told you we don't give a fuck about that part. It's that you're a dick. <laughs> <laughs> don't yeah. brag about it, bro. We saw you come in with three different people. I'm, oh. I'm a dick? Bro, how many people did you fuck in your last relationship? <laughs> Give me a number. <laughs> One, dude. <laughs> so, uh, go back to Kansas, Toto. God damn. <laughs> now ask me. How many people? I don't did count, you... bro. Oh, God, God, God. <laughs> no need to count if the number don't mean anything. Sky's the limit. I'm the limit. Paul's the limit. I'm not taking that shit from a dude dressed in a three-piece corduroy suit and no shirt. <laughs> You're a fucking freak, bro. You're a freak, and the people you roll with are not beautiful. 
You know, polyamory Whoa. is supposed to get you. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> Did you just body shame my entourage? It's not just the bodies. <laughs> the face, the fingernails, the whole situation. You're supposed to be able to get like a um, wide range. Excuse of me. <laughs> Um, hi, uh, Paul's girlfriend, Alpha 3. Yes, my point exactly. <laughs> uh, but you can just call me Paul's girlfriend because um, we don't count. We do what we do. Okay. And we do it Polly style. Um, he, he makes you say that now? Is that I the think deal? you just. <laughs> also, why did we mic you too? I think. <laughs> I think we need to talk about how you just threw shade and tea and lemonade on my body. <laughs> I am the way I am. I'm bold and beautiful. I'm, 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 I'm Paul's girlfriend, one of them. I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying, if Paul is going to, you know, uh, if he's going to put together a bouquet, there should be maybe some more flowers and a lot less weeds. <laughs> Oh, damn. Excuse me. Um, I am Marie uh, Winnipeg. I am a PhD in toxicology. And I am currently uh, copulating with Paul whenever we feel like is no big deal. Um, and I cured AIDS. And I feel beautiful on the inside. And um, I'm here on a work visa. And your uh, country is what's ugly to me. <laughs> because it was very hard to get this work visa, and I had cure to AIDS. You and can I may stay. Just, I, have to, I think I throw away. I throw away now. I throw away the, throw oh, away. the cure for AIDS. I have cure for AIDS. Wow, OK. I may throw it away. <laughs> I throw away. My name's Mary. <laughs> Winnipeg. Sontag, what did I Winnipeg. say? <laughs> That's the kind of trash Winnipeg. I'm talking about. Somebody's with you, double P. She's got the cure for AIDS, and she's at the dynasty hanging out. <laughs> oh, you back on me now that you went through, yeah. my, you went through my coop? Now oh. you're back with the rooster. Because <laughs> I'll tell you what, I may be polyamorous, but I'm also misogynist. <laughs> Then I am right. I am right to tear you and your entourage down. Right, right by some cuck code that you made up. Uh, snowflake. Uh, what do you think, girls? You like you like the idea of existing within a, a small, self-contained hierarchy with a man at the top that thinks you're all bitches? Yeah. Oh, wee oui, wee. Oui. Oh, I have to kill for AIDS. Mm-hmm. Sounds, sounds like the customer... Oh, wait, why am I French now? You are what sounds you like eat. Sounds like the customer's right. <laughs> hey, man, look, thanks for coming by. All it's right. always good to see you, yeah, bro. Yeah. But look, seriously. Look, I only come here for the parts of the show where you talk to me anyway. I was going to leave. Wow. Now I know my segment's over. <laughs> wow. Yeah, polyamorous out multiple times. I leave it multiple times. <laughs> wow, polyamorous Paul. Wow. Oh, man. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not fucking with that dude, Harmon. I don't like him. I don't like him either. Yeah. He's so lugubrious. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I. You should invite us up into the concept of, of sleeping with multiple people. You should make an ad for it. It shouldn't be like uh, you, should, you should make affair. us want to. You should be like, why is that guy smiling all the time? Right. And uh, not, 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 not who yelled at me yesterday. Like, like a, a couple comes home and the guy's taking off his sneakers and he's, he's, and, and he's got a little grimace on his face and the, his, his, his girlfriend's like uh, scooting up for, she's got some, some reading to do. And, uh, and then she notices his, his body language and she says, what's wrong, uh, Carl? And he, and he says, ah, this guy today, I, I ran into him. Just really uh, read me the riot act about being monogamous. 
<laughs> what are you that talking means? about? It's just this guy. He's really angry. He's just like really got got on me. He had like a petition outside of Target. <laughs> <laughs> I was just there to buy a sweater because I love you. Uh, so, uh, what, you, you what, I'm sorry, what, your love makes you cold? No, it, let me get the sweater. It's, I fucked up. It's your birthday next week, but uh, it's part of the story here. Sweater, happy birthday. Oh, oh thank you. Um, yeah, I ran into a guy that just started like, like really laying into me about how he's polyamorous. <laughs> Anyways, all right, sorry. Yeah, I'm glad you brought it up because I'd like to start seeing other people. Why? Because you're polyamorous? No, because I don't like you anymore. Because <laughs> you, 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 you seem like a, a, a less like a, a real boyfriend, and more like a, a weird cipher for Dan Harmon's high babbling. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't want you. I don't want to be with you anymore. I think you're just a, I think you're just a, a mouthpiece for some uh, strange Cthulhu creature who has a podcast in some different plane. <laughs> Babe, I'm real. You saw my birth certificate. <laughs> I, birth certificate. You have skin too. We live in a house. I have memories. I'm telling you, the whole thing is a fucking lie, Carl. <laughs> what do I have to do to prove I'm real to you? <laughs> I'm, I'm so I invested in this. Mm. Honestly, I don't know, Carl. <laughs> You know, there's a, there's a contemporary thought that has it that the question itself proves, it, proves its own answer. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Have you been hanging out with Xander again? Holy shit. <laughs> no, Xander's into crystals, not simulation theory. <laughs> well, I don't care what he's into. <laughs> I'm tired of saying his name. Yeah, what do you, I, baby, just come, come here, come, come, come here, come into the bed with me. Okay. You still love me? Yes, of course I do. Did you feed the dogs? Thought you were going to do that. <laughs> yeah, I'll do it. Fifth time this week, I did it. <laughs> what? 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 I thought you said something. I said something. You said something. Uh, what else is going on? No, I think I, well, there's no guest tonight, by the way, and Rob Schraub isn't here. Nothing. 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 Nothing good is about to happen. I didn't. I didn't. One man, five characters. <laughs> <laughs> three oh, three I did, of them well, are I did, confused. I do, I do. I did write down one thing, but I, I, I assume we've all been talking about this, and all of the comedic permutations uh, have already been explored. But, but the weird thing is, I'm off Twitter now, so I never know. I hear random things. I hear like one thing a week. Like I'm 80 years old. Like I know one news item a week, or one or one like just human interest piece. And uh, it, 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 and I, I can't tell the difference between the ones that are so played out and everyone's talking about them, whatever. Oh, because Dan, before when you were on Twitter, you were you, you really had your finger on the pulse, and uh, we were calling you the Dick, Dick Clark of our generation. Um, all right, well, I don't I don't know who you are. You sound exactly like me, so <laughs> let's not have a conversation. Why not? Well, see, that's my problem. Is I I I said let's not have a conversation. I don't even know which of us said that. <laughs> it was me. Who said that? That's, this is exactly my point. You and I are talking to each other right now, and no one can tell? Exactly. <laughs> it just sounds like one guy talking, because we have the same voice. Yep. <laughs> Dan Harmon meets Dan Harmon and Dan Harmon. The two. Um, <laughs> uh, so I heard one sniglet. One little thing, just news, ra you got random news. shit I hear. D there's a d d Tinder, or the company that owns Tinder, the, the, they own all the Tinders, the Hydra of all the dating swipies. Um, 
they, they were gonna, they were gonna, or they are. I, 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 they, they, they were gonna start charging people over forty, like, like, yeah, they've like been, extra. They've been, Is that was that a thing that everybody that. was like talking about? Yeah, they've been doing that one. Like the idea that if you're over forty, you have to pay a little extra to be on the, <laughs> the That's dating fair. sites. That's fair. I just thought that was so amazing because it's such a perfect. It's beyond Logan's Run all the way into just like, because <laughs> it's like obviously the natural inversion of that is like. You know, and if you're 25, obviously, hey, whoa, it's on the house. And then if you're 20, hey, here's 50 bucks. <laughs> and then you keep on going down all the way to the point where if you're pregnant, your baby is worth $50,000 of credit on a social media site because it's so young, you could like <laughs> you could sign a contract for it to like committing to one over the other and then like I just like the idea they need that as, Papa John. as you get older, then you pay. If you're 90 years old, you have to pay a million dollars a minute to, <laughs> to, to, to be around people. Uh, <laughs> it kind of, it makes perfect sense. It yeah. seems hard to parody. <laughs> like, I, I was trying to think of, like, how to, like, come up with something that was, like, beyond parody but seems reasonable. But I feel like... There could just be like an app that like pays people to eat bugs. <laughs> like you just take a picture of a cricket and they'll just give you like 30 cents and they'll be like, yeah, it's sustainable blockchain. It's helping everybody. And then um, it'll be good. But I don't know. Can't you do that on Fiverr? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but that's that's way, you know, that's a way more equitable than what I'm proposing. What's what's Fiverr? Fiverr is like uh, you can pay somebody five bucks and above to do a task. No, and you, you don't can know. Also, this you can also the dollar off- store of task rabbits. Yeah. <laughs> That's. I mean, it's everything's a slippery slope. What am I talking? Whenever Everything, we have this, a really the slope ba- is we're in the pit. We're in a slippery pit. Whenever we have like a really bad show, I pay a sixty-eight-year-old man to shit on my chest. <laughs> <laughs> and he pays me four dollars. <laughs> It's a wonderful world we've built. Yeah. <laughs> it is the very definition of blockchain. <laughs> uh, you, should, you should have to pay more to be around people when you're over 40. You do. You do. <laughs> you do pay more you to do. be around people when you're over 40. Yeah. Yes, that's what I meant. You shouldn't have to. That's not what I meant. I meant I you meant can, you do you 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 and you should have to <laughs> you, 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 should. you every every interact every gesture you make uh, costs you three more breaths than a, a teenager <laughs> if you say I don't know that you you your heart had to work harder <laughs> but also when you go to like New York City and you are you're you're walking through the city you see a bunch of like 20 to 30 year olds in waitress and waiter uniforms or in bellhop uniforms and you realize that major cities are really people over 40 with money forcing 20-somethings to bust their ass. <laughs> and 20-somethings are like, well, there's six of us, but we live in the middle of Manhattan, and we're right. living that New York life, and we're all, like, struggling to do this shit, which is unfair, but then there's a bunch of, like, over 40 people like, ah, you love living in New York, don't <laughs> you? <laughs> I suck the youth out of your lungs. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like San Diego. <laughs> oh my God, that Seriously, guy. Seriously, that's the way we have currently yeah. in this economy. Not to get crazy dark, but like in this economy, you should have to fucking pay because you these kids are struggling out there. <laughs> like, well, that was I, that was the that was, I've always said that was the you know I had an ex girlfriend who kind of woke me up to that that that's our industry, Hollywood, whatever you call it, without sounding like a douche. Um, <laughs> The biz, the razzle dazzles, uh, um, the business of show. Like it, it, it really, it's got a huge tradition of labor abuse, and also at the same time, the the thing that's ironic about it is not only labor abuse, but then also on the flip side of it, it, it it's to- you can't it, you the labor that gets abused has to have a support system. Yeah, that whole thing. Like you can't be, you can't just. Be born in dirt with no support system. Get on a bus and go. I'm gonna go be an assistant and or whatever. And you got to be rich to get exploited. You, you, your, right. your parents have to have your back a little bit, which excludes an entire, it's giant, this whole thing. And then we talk about 
uh, 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 where's the diversity on all this stuff? But it's like at the very bottom where we, where we crack the nuts the hardest, where we make people shit in their cars and we want to kill themselves. Like it's all driven by this weird unspoken concept of, yeah, but this is where milk and honey flows, baby. Yeah. Like, yeah. what, do you, what do you mean you don't want to, like, like uh, be made to cry uh, once in a while? Like, 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 what do you hate? You hate, you hate, you hate Spielberg or something? Right. What do you hate, Jaws? Right. I thought that was a great movie. Right. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm working on the Goldbergs. What do you mean? Uh, that was a... <laughs> right. Also, I, then it's, I, 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 I riffed the name of a show that w with which I have no beef and no, no, nobody lowered out so that it was a safe riff, uh, just in case. Look, <laughs> I need to tag that riff. <laughs> Fuck the Goldbergs, man. <laughs> <laughs> Mad beef with Jeff Garland. Uh, and then they kick you out when you get old. This is a rough-ass business because they exploit you through your 20s and your 30s, really. And then in your 40s, you're sort of in a position where you're like, I'm billing you 6,000 for that motherfucker. <laughs> and then as you get over 40, they're like, hope you got your money in your 40s. Because <laughs> it gets burp, 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 burp. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, you, you could, you could uh, writers love writing stories about uh, our obsession with beauty and uh, we tell you fairy tales and horror stories and cautionary tales about like, oh, you should have learned that uh, beauty is only skin deep and all this stuff and it, oh, if only I could be 50 and look 25. But, and then there's this other thing though, like if, you're, if you, you could look 25 and factually be 50 and that would fuck you over as a screenwriter. Like, like it, 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 people just like if you've been around too long, or yeah. someone knows that you were you're, yeah. you're a certain age, you're yeah. just you're just not right. like there's there That's was a, there was a artist. big suit about that with the WGA, um, and you know the, the way the suit went down, you would think that we had that I, I my memory of it, even though I was not somebody that cared about it at the time, I was very young, full of cum and pennies <laughs> and, and typewriter ink. It was just spraying fucking cum and ink and everywhere. <laughs> okay, I, I'm sorry, I, 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 I give me some of this, somebody, 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 somebody got up and had to leave. <laughs> also, the title of our four-part series. <laughs> so cheesy. We rejoin our continuing four, four of our continuing series, Common Ink, the Dan Harmon story. After the war, Winston Churchill called his boys home, but Dan Harmon had more coming and more typing to do. Changing his identity with a brothel owner that had his same height and dress size, he began going through three typewriters and four orchard workers a day. His insatiable appetite for carnal knowledge and prose sharing <laughs> was seconded only by his need for more cum. <laughs> oh, hello. Thank you. What did you get here by bus? That's my son, everybody. Uh, I heard you cough, Father, so I finished. Uh, let me ask you a question, son. Sure. Why do you talk so fast? I'm just trying to be like you. <laughs> but don't you understand, in the emulation of me, you're starting to become a strange, uh, uncanny recreation. Uh, no one talks the way you talk. Father, I'm full of cum. <laughs> I'm full of it. 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 Sold. <laughs> and when one is full of cum, there's much to do. Many places to go. Have to say things quick so I can go and empty this dick. <laughs> really? <Wow. laughs> of all the things I've yeah. done in my career, 1940s Kid Full of Cum was my favorite. <laughs> you motherfuckers just you negated a 20-year career of witty, witty, witty things. See, sometimes <laughs> applause hurts, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, never, ever solicit it. And most of the time when you get it, feel bad. <laughs> It ruins everything. I'm not saying you do not re react organically, but it is like anything less than, I mean, when are we ever on the same page about what deserves a round of applause? Never. <laughs> what is the likelihood of, of us agreeing? Like, yes, of course I would applaud there. 
But usually applause means, I think it's people going like, like, like I'm still with you, I'm listening, like, change the subject. They're like, they're like, switch gears, like get off your, get, get off the bike and then get back on again because basically I'm, you're not a fucking triathlete, so I'm not here to be wowed by your bicycling. I'm, I'm, the only merit you have is the weird wiggles your butt does when you're getting on and off the bike. <laughs> so like, like, like it, it, it just, it's just like, like, I just want to watch you go up and down the driveway. So like, I, I, I think, I think the applause means like, like, like. Like, like, good, now, do, no, do, no, no, don't get fucking bogged down in this shit. I don't want to listen to your fucking weird pontifications about the LGBT, LGBTQ2 community. Oh, but you applauded for skill just well, she, there. She, 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 she like that. I got, I went back, I got every letter, didn't I? Uh, like, almost. And then I added a, and then I added a two. Or you were on the end of that group, and you were like, God damn it, if he doesn't say the TQs. <laughs> if, if he doesn't hit the queers, I'm going right. to fight. God damn it, we've been right. taking it forever. Yeah. <laughs> Polyamory. If it is, look, look whose sister it is. <laughs> I got to say, she came with a much better crowd than fucking PP did. Y'all looking real good. All right. Well, maybe we should maybe we should keep that energy going. Let's meet a person from the sure. audience. Sure. Uh, who's? Oh. There's there's a guy from France and a guy uh, from Australia. Man, Canada, no, dog. Australia, Come on, man. Sweden. Come on, Canada. Now, I just want to make it clear. I did not. We did not even go down the geographic road. <laughs> But and I understand. I don't mind you getting excited and saying like, I mean, that, that saying he's from France could have made all the difference. You never, you could tomorrow, you could be like, I fucking did it. I did it for you, <laughs> Jean Paul. I'm the reason why you were on Harmontown. But I, 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 I'm not being a tease. I don't want. I just want to make a sensible decision. Sure. Who nobody? Well, I, I, a sensible decision won't involve yelling things out. Especially not vasectomy. Has anyone has anyone traveled oh, farther you, than so you had vasectomy. a vasectomy? You had a vasectomy. Someone that's see, a, we talked about this at the top of the show. Bring your A game. Well, let me let me consult with Brandon first, and we'll be right back. That could be good. Brandon, what do you think should be the? Who should we? What should we ask for? Am I, I mean, doing it wrong already? Jeff usually he has a hair trigger. And he just goes that guy. Jeff will just be like, "Come on!" Uh, like, like, and, and I mean, I, I, no, no knocking Jeff's. Uh, uh, he, he. It, we love it, you, Jeff Davis. Things always turn out well, yeah. but I always think in my head, I'm like, Jeff, that was irresponsible. <laughs> 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 to bring That's that person true, up, yeah. Because it'll just be somebody who'll just get you. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, talking about. Yeah, I'm always like, what the fuck? Paper it, bags. Yeah. And I'll, I'll be like, I hate that guy. Like, and Jeff yeah, will be like, do it? paper oh, bags guy, get up here, get up here. Yeah. No, I will tell you, I do have a pretty good judge of character. Oh, shit. Like, I do think. <laughs> Is that what he says, too? No, no, <laughs> it's just, I mean, if you're front-loading it like this. You th I'm not afraid of myself. I, that's great. <laughs> I think we need that. Um, uh, I feel there's a, there's a, there's, I do love French because we're all American, so he would be the most different. Right. We might possibly learn something in this motherfucker. Uh, no one wants um, to, yeah, no one hell wants no to, that, that just made everyone so sad, the idea of we're going to learn something. <laughs> we're, we're already feeling so bad. We're feeling so bad. We just want to meet like a, a gardener. You know, we want to like turn in. Interesting. Interesting. Gardeners? Gardeners. Gardeners. I'm feeling, for some reason, I'm feeling this outfit right here. Oh, shit. Which outfit? And she didn't even volunteer. But I do love this outfit. So, so as a shallow person, that is where I go first. It's... Well, don't, I mean, she's not a volunteer, so don't make her more uncomfortable. If you're going to bring her up, you got to force her up. <laughs> Hello. You've been chosen based on the spangliness of your jacket. 
it's Brandon there's a, there's Johnson. A, there's a, there's a, you, you know, I don't oh, know how I'm disillusioned trying. you are, but like. Yeah, I, the, there's there's an episode where Jeff Davis is like, um, if you if you wear a suit a suit to Harmontown, then please say hi. So oh, that. and then he said bye for six weeks. Yeah, where, where is Jeff Davis? <laughs> this fucking guy, he's just out there. He's eating Ryan Styles or Dave Foley's dick on the fucking. I, I, <laughs> like like he's, he's you know you, you watch his, his Instagram is just him he's just like oh, the room service is uh, tasty you know like he's just out there reading books and and hanging out doing mic checks that's all he just disappears. <sighs> but you're a, you're a Jeff Davis fan. Um, I'm I'm an everyone fan. I live in rural Japan and um, yeah. Hey. Uh, so we went for no geographic. We went with just jacket sparkle. Sorry. <laughs> and, and 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 we and we got someone I from live, the other side of the earth. This is from space. Um, but uh, I never got your name. Um, I'm Jimmy. Jimmy. I actually, I have he him pronouns, but it's all good. You have sparkles kind of. Wait, what's the pronoun I'm thinking? I'm not gonna make a big deal out of it, but I didn't hear you. He. He. Oh, you're like, oh, he. Okay. Well, that's easy. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Somebody challenge me. I should have just made up a new pronoun. <laughs> we like to do that just to, just to fuck with you. I'm so, yeah, exactly. I'm so stoked. He, he is a pronoun. Fuck it. Um, to be, like, my, my dad was also like that when, when I came out to him. Uh, so uh, great to meet you. Came, came out as what to your dad? Uh, Non-binary. Oh, so non-binary, and but 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 you can still you preferred pronoun. It can just be whatever. I mean, it's 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 a preferred. Yeah, pronoun. no, there are there are actually a bunch, and trans community is pretty positive when it comes to making up your own pronoun. What goes what goes into like like for you personally? What, if if um, considering like I like I understand and don't understand like like okay non-binary, but then in picking a pronoun, is it based on utility or? other yeah like is it is it is it, is, it, is, it, is it a choice for other people or is it a choice for yourself when you pick a pronoun you individually not the royal you you're not yeah. representing no, anybody. No. yeah no I, I get what you mean but it's like when you go out on the street it's like it's like it is a utility thing like how much energy am I gonna take to educate every person that I come across and also are they gonna beat me up if I'm like right you know you you hear uh, my my voice started dropping recently, and that was a pretty exciting thing for me. But yeah, thank you. Hello. <laughs> so so sometimes I'll do that, and it's like a safety thing. So if I feel somebody kind of like they give you the the up and down, and they clock you, and and they're like, all right, sir, come over here. I'm like, oh, sir, yes, yes, I will come over there. <laughs> But other times, if I if I look at somebody and based off of where, what they're wearing or like if they're millennialish looking, I'll go, oh yeah, I use they them, and usually they're like, oh cool, 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 mm -hmm. yeah. But, yeah, yeah, man, it's a, it's a, I feel I feel compelled to say like, do you remember you 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 know Nova from the podcast? Uh, yeah, they, is she they, here? They, 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 are they here? Sorry, I'm like I yeah, do that yeah. all the time. I f I kind of feel oh compelled, God. and I hope this isn't a betrayal of our because we talked about it after the show. But but I feel like this is something you'd want people to know that 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 I you know how I was like like the first time I met Nova it was like I'm immediately like oh I uh, no I, I they, do it they too said, they also, said they and then I was like she yeah. and, and she no, and he I'm, and I'm, whatever mm. then I did it three three times in a row and every time I like do the self deprecating thing where I'm like come on focus and stuff and then I was talking to Nova after the show w one time a couple weeks ago and another interesting conversation was actually because. No rest for the wicked. It's like that's actually now, like like sh like Nova was like like I don't I don't want to care that much if people fuck up. I don't that that is not my choice to make a big deal out of it. A uh, preference is just a preference, and it, and and uh and it, it, at which point it occurred to me that it's actually it's a, it's another thing now that I have to keep in mind is like I kind of like. Take it all onto myself when I when I go like, hey, oh, did hey. I get that right? Do, do, do. It's all about me, as opposed to just like <laughs> continuing to grow and and take it in stride. Well, I mean, it's like that internalized anxiety is something I feel like that every trans person has. It's something like also white guilt, as I'm white, so I, you know, you, you just. Why are you laughing at white guilt? 
<laughs> if you should, if you should, if like, you, yeah. Can like, I write just, a monologue for you to do about how white guilt is a serious issue? <laughs> Let's do that next week. <laughs> As you use your mayonnaise, do you think of me, me, me? Do you want it to be a monologue or a poem? I'm kidding. Go ahead. <laughs> I do haiku. Thank you. And then put it on Twitter. Bless you. Sorry, continue. We cut you off. <laughs> we derailed you. And then I do, we have to move off this topic for just a quick section so we can talk about some of the clothing choices. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, well, but I, but I yes. derailed you in the middle of a thought, so I just wanted you to have a chance to finish. Um, I don't, yeah, I don't think it was really going <laughs> <Okay>. anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, now let's talk about clothes. Can we please talk about God these damn. shoes? Let's talk about these fucking shoes. <laughs> for just a quick, if you're not, yeah. So if you're at home, these shoes are, uh, uh, they are studded, and they are studded very closely together so that it, it creates its own sort of uh, shell. And it a is, shell of gold studs. Yeah, a shell of gold studs. Um, where, how, what country? <laughs> uh, actually, it was my cousin's wedding this All past right. weekend. So where? In uh, San Diego, okay. actually. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, what's up, dude? All of San Diego's here. <laughs> California burritos. <laughs> uh, burritos. That, the yeah. quality of that, yeah, I don't know if that translated to the podcast last night, oh, sure but I'm did. genuinely concerned for that person. <laughs> like, it was like a they, shark. They, they, they started to say, yeah, but then something happened. <laughs> like, so they yeah. <laughs> I got, Rightfully so. I got scared, so they yelled out. That's nice. That's the audience I like, the vulnerable audience. Yeah. I like that. A terrified audience. They're, 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 flawed. they're flawed, and they're vulnerable, and they're, yeah. Uh, anyway. San Diego wedding, yeah, so your that, cousins. Are they cool people? Um, Were they cool people? They, they used to be not so cool. Okay. But this is like the liberal side of my family, awesome. not not. The side of the family that voted for Trump in the primaries. Okay. Wow, in the primaries. Take it all the way back. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> they're so mad at the people that voted for him in the general election. It's like, I mean, yeah. it's like when the Pixies got popular and I was like, fuck this shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, they, uh, they, got, they, got, they got their jeans with Trump written in Sharpie on the. On the <laughs> they're, they're like, this is fucking serious shit. Dead milkmen, Trump. <laughs> Uh, were they cool? Was it a cool wedding? Sorry, is that like, <laughs> was, was it a, a cool wedding? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. It was you know, it's it's a wedding. So there's lots of straight people there. Okay. And I'm I'm just there to experience their culture. And, and <laughs> 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 it's very uh, the music. The and music's not that good, it's, it's, and it's very bland. Yeah, it's, not it's a lot of just, spice. It's, you know, it, I'm, it's an interesting time for them. I'm sure they have lots of feelings about it. Well, it's a very scary time for straight, young, white men. Yeah, just all these middle-aged men just yeah. talking about, like, where are my grandchildren? Where are my grandchildren? Yeah. Like, four times yeah. before we even get to the cake. Breeders. Um, but let, 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 let's talk about, but you can wave us off anytime you want if we get to, if it turns out you're a secret agent or something. But I want to talk about this living in Tokyo thing. And oh, then the jacket. Yeah. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and the jacket. Are you just visiting the jacket. for uh, the wedding? Yeah, just just for the wedding. It's so what are you doing in Tokyo? Uh, I actually live way out in the butthole of nowhere. Okinawa? <laughs> Very That's, close. Uh, I just took, yeah. Osaka? No, I don't know. Uh, so take it works once. Osaka and then go six hours into the trees, and that's where Whoa. I live. Shibuya. <laughs> that's in Tokyo. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> All of these have been. It's a restaurant. What are you doing there? Are you are you changing vending Cho -cho machines that uh, that have jars of uh, of of old men's socks in them because of something that we don't understand, and we'll, we'll talk about on Alex Jones? You know, that's actually. A good description of my program that I'm on, but <laughs> are you teaching English? Yeah, that's I, I, that, that's that, that's that's the that's the and, yeah, I mean that's what I always expect to hear when when yeah. Uh, well, it's also just like changing one pair of old man's socks for the other. Like that's kind of how they treat temporary workers, but that's all also how old the 
English education system is in Japan and it's not working. But yeah. how much Japanese do you have to speak to teach English in Japan? Um, Nihon go chiyoto henashimasu. Oh, jozo desu ne. I am tired. It's on. It's the oft repeated refrain. Them's fighting words. Yeah, them, them's are fighting words. They'll just tell you, oh my god, your Japanese is so good, and you're just like, I said hi. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know. There's a lot of syllables. But, uh, yeah, the, the, like every the, time, every time a Japanese person says "wakarimas," it, it's like, "Wow, that's so much Japanese." It means I. Wow. It means I. No, that means I understand. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Wait, what's I, the, I what's could the, be, I could be like riffing off of this. Like, yeah, it means goldfish. <laughs> <laughs> what's what 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 means I? What's the it's the uh, so the the one that you could use you could use uh, for formal situations in all situations watashi. Watashi, yeah, yeah. And then, but because you're a guy, they have gendered pronouns too. So you could use. Oh, my favorite. Boku, it, which is like. <laughs> Um, if your mind is ready to explode, the French guy yelled out the Japanese answer. Oh, okay. Yeah. Crazy, well. right? <laughs> Fucking house okay, full well, of the French, geniuses. French guy, you want to come up here? You, you can stay. You stay. We're going to get like a international... Uh, oh, Shit. shit. It's a French assassin. A, oh, Hello. no. I think we're going to get confused. <laughs> does this work? Yes, it does. He does, he does have So am a, I uh, sitting over there? <laughs> he does. It's, I mean, I'm used to listening to podcasts, but usually it's like, I know I'm hearing myself, but this is a whole new thing. Yeah. French Spencer, say something. And... Um, I cut my, my hair and beard um, before my trip to Los Angeles, so I looked more like you. <laughs> yeah, this is Harmontown, huh? It is. It's weird when you're watching it and not just, like, doing it, you know? <laughs> this is crazy. Did you, did you cut your beard short because of travel? Like, it gets, it gets caught in the, in the pillow? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I fear to be swallowed by, you know, the engine jets. <laughs> well, and it messes with uh, the gas mask seal, right? Exactly. That's what, important. Uh, what, what, oh, sorry, what, we, did we get your name? <laughs> uh, we didn't. Um, my real name is going to be a nightmare, so just call me JC. Okay, now that we know we're going to call you JC, what's we your real name? We have that as a fallback. Now don't, now don't deny us our fucking egomaniacal go, go desire nuts. to... Are you ready for this? Yeah. Jean Charles. <laughs> oh. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I think sorry. I heard three uh, people. I, I stepped in. I'm, I, I apologize. No, no. You were. Everyone's. Great. I'm always waiting for the. You know. You, 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 ever, you ever see Splash? Daryl Hannah. She says her name. She's a mermaid, and then all the TVs break. Okay. Anyways, go ahead. What's your What's your real name? Don't say it. All right. <laughs> No, no, say it. Say your real name. Just All don't right. say, are you ready for this? Jean-Charles. Jean-Charles. Oh. oh, nice. Jean-Charles. J-C. Oh, Jean -J -J -E -A -N hyphen Charles. Yup. Jean Charles. <laughs> or as, as we would call you, as we would call you in my motherfucking neighborhood, Jean Charles. Okay, Jean Charles. No, Jean-Charles, so great to meet you. Thank you so much for coming up. Uh, uh, thank you for having me. Yeah, but... This what, is Los uh, Angeles, man. We're very worldly. I'm, I'll probably order dinner from a place called Jean Charles tonight. I'll do it. Us, tell us what you do and what made you come to Harmontown. Uh, I'm into video games stuff. I do art for video games. Excellent. Mostly. Shit. Okay. <laughs> okay. And I've. Um, I came to do a, a trip along the west coast, so this was my first stop. I'm going to fly to Seattle, then go back down to Portland for the uh, retro gaming convention, and then go oh. to San Francisco, and then back to Los Angeles for two wow. more Armand Towns. Yay! Wow! Wow! So we will be seeing you again, which is crazy. In two weeks. Wow. <laughs> I'm so excited about the retro gaming convention. Yeah. 
Because I went to, there was this thing in Portland called XOXO. Uh, I think that's what it was. What yeah. Was it? Yeah. They had like a ret, kind of a, a re, it was just Exhibitor. a little sliver on a different, yeah. uh, on a, uh, on a different thing that wasn't. I, I the, the idea of of you kids like getting all into this like retro gaming is I, I love it so much, because it's like it's function over form. It encourages all this like cool shit. I'm genuinely into it. I'm so excited to hear what you encounter there. Well, it's thanks everybody. That's Harmontown. <laughs> Yeah, no, um, with virtual gaming, I, I think form, like the um, pixely form, drives uh, a lot of the what's the other one content. Yeah, so it's um, like when um, green appeared in in, uh, in in like the Vermeer green appeared in painting, it drew. It, Draw, draw, drove? Drove. Drove. You, you're, you're fucking verb, I swear. You're crushing I, um, it. Oh, don't get me started. No. You're doing oh, amazing. Also, well, if you need to switch between English and French, Spencer can... Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Spencer will translate. Yeah, because I know what he's going to say before he says it. <laughs> We're hairy. Because like, he's just fr the French, sir. Air. Right. All right. Well, uh, I think I have more in common with <laughs> you, actually, because um, what drove me to um, listen to Armentown and then pay for the subscription to uh, watch you guys on Thank the scene. You. Thank you. Ooh la la, merci. Is because <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel uh, I share a lot of the, the multiple shames that you uh, exhibit. The <laughs> no, no. Hell yeah. Hey, this... This man Which is a ones? hero. Which this ones? Man is a hero. Which ones? For real. Which ones? Would you would you call <laughs> my parfait of shames exquisite? They're perfection. I just want to hear it yeah. from from a from a from a Frenchman. Oh, Tout à fait exquis. I have <laughs> I have tasted your shame. It is <laughs> it is sublime. <laughs> no, yeah. In a lot of ways, you made me feel less alone. Uh, that, that made you feel more alone. <laughs> <laughs> I, but because it was a bunch of lonely people uh, uh, doing that. But yeah, no, I hear that a lot in, in a good way. I, lo I love hearing that. That's my, favorite, that's my favorite thing that we always come back around to. When I'm getting cranky and going, why are we doing this and all this stuff. So I'm glad to hear that. Uh, well, it's, it's public t therapy in some way. And... Um, I loved uh, a French comic that, um, like, s said th th this thing on scene, like, I'm... His name? Uh, Pierre, Pierre Desproges. You, you probably never heard of it. It's all right. This but guy, yeah. uh, in the 1980s, uh, he once went on stage in his first one-man show. Uh, show, show this. And... <laughs> you nailed it. You nailed it. <laughs> yeah. You nailed it. And... Uh, he was there like, yeah, I'm an exhibitionist, and you're all voyeurs <laughs> paying to see an exhibition. And that's little my little, very little minded. <laughs> yeah, so th there was um, a lot of, you know, this public um, psychotherapy and um, this display of non-narcissism, trying to deal with it and, and such. Yeah. Those times are changing, they keep telling me. Like, apparently, I think what happened over the last five years is without actually making a conscious decision, because when, do, when would you ever fill out a change of address form, we all moved over to the internet. It, we, we started to consider it real life. And, um, and, and, and now that it is, we've clearly entered an age where actually this, uh, you know, what you're describing, which is the only thing that I ever thought I would be good for in this world, transparency, like, open, like, like kind of, I'm never going to do anything that remarkable, that's so a dream. why don't I just tell you everything I do <laughs> kind of thing? Um, that's actually, it's, it's become like sort of like walking out of your house with a noose around your neck. And I'm not feeling sorry for myself. It's just like I'm, what I'm lamenting is the end of that culture actually being encouraged to 25-year-olds. I can't imagine being 25 right now and, and having the urges that I had when I was 25 to actually, I, like, I was like, it was an ironic punk rock urge for me 
at 25 to go, I want everyone to know everything about me. Mm-hmm. That was an ironic urge back then. Mm-hmm. Right, that was and before now, it became fashionable. Yeah, now, now that's like hitting yourself in the face with a hammer. It's a cry for help, it's, and it's, it's abusable, and you asked for it if you engage in that behavior, because it's, uh, you know, uh, yeah. what are your feelings about this, Spangled Jacket? Forgot your name. Jimmy, right? Starts with a J, ends with a Jimmy. Jimmy. Oh, shit, Jimmy. Jimmy. If you're going to forget a name, forget the name Jimmy. First, first, <laughs> first name Jimmy, last name Freedom. Oh, nice. holy shit. Yes. Who the fuck you think you are, Jimmy Freedom? Jimmy Freedom. <laughs> and literally, yeah. you would turn around and be like, I am goddamn Jimmy Freedom. <laughs> Pretty dope. What's your, Pretty what's, dope. Your, what's, your, what's your take, Jimmy, on, the, uh, on what I said? <laughs> this is an interview? Um. Oh, you don't have to have one. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I interrupted one. Uh, Spencer. Hey. <laughs> no, but Jimmy... Hey, no, you can't do that. You can't... <laughs> you can't reprogram the show with I him as the he... lead. I That's... don't know. I th- let's see where he's going with <laughs> all this. All right, fine. All right. I'll give this five minutes, but if my ratings start dipping... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Jimmy, you probably have a very active Instagram. Yes. Okay. So then you are Sorry. totally qualified to answer this question. Um, I, <laughs> well, what do you think the new honestly, is there? Honestly, y'all, I, I voted in the 2016 election in California. Thank you. And uh, um, helped legalize weed in California. And, thank you. Uh, I, and we all thank you for that. Right. And so I've been back for three days, so I'm high as fuck right oh, now. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Oh. Okay. You should. It's all right. Do you think there's going to be like a new... I forgot the question. Is there going to be like a new internet, though? Like what Dan yeah. was saying is that like it used to be the internet was a secret place where you go to hide from like the world and complain about the world. But yeah. now the internet is the world. So is there any place where it's like the internet was where we retreat from there to where it's like now safe to complain about like... I guess that's the real world now, right? We retreat to the real world to complain about what's happening online. <laughs> Well, that's sad. Or good? It's definitely something. Right. It's it's like when people talk to you about. I'm on stage. It's cool. Let's keep. <laughs> I don't. I don't know how. No, the no, you do. It's, it's like. I'm it's on like, stage. It's like when people that you know on Twitter talk to you in real life about things that they read about on Twitter, and they'll yeah. like take you through the tweet yeah. verbally if you haven't seen it. That's it's, like that strange <laughs> sort of doubling. That's better than uh, yeah. people forcing you to watch YouTube videos <laughs> just because it takes less time. Well, yeah, True. I think people are also going back to traditional methods of communication. I like, hate that. Like, uh, like letters or like... You mean like letters and words? Yeah, uh, I mean, like, like snail I mail? I think he means oh. postcards. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's hard to say... Like. It, one objective thing you can say is we're getting to a point where we're looking at with the internet and we're going, oh, because so we all live in this cloud where nothing is real. and then, But then the idea that it's not real is alternatively weaponized um, and then it, uh, it, but then idealized. And uh, it, I, I get really alarmed about the idea of sliding into um, convicted cynicism. Uh, 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 because the bad guys like that. They love the idea that if you get in a fight with a psycho, um, five minutes into a fight with a psycho, um, all you really know is that you don't even know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> and it's like their specialty. It's like they, it's like this win-win. It's like it, it, it favors a person that just wants to damage and it and it and it and it and it and it, and it, de- 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 it, 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 it 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 disadvantages actual earnest communication because like it, that that's the thing that i really really panic about is that point where we all go well nothing's real nothing's real at all like you, it, what did you see that on a screen well that means that means it either is or isn't real i would love to live in a world where it was like did you see that on a screen that means it isn't Real period, but mm-hmm. I don't think that we could ever commit to that. Like we 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 will still we I mean we know that 
my favorite Martian isn't real, but we, he's our favorite Martian. Um, <laughs> as, assuming we're all 70. Um, <laughs> I just, I just mean that like the entire TV industry is based on the fact that when we see something on a screen, we tend to love it. We, we, <laughs> we, we know that uh, Cher isn't performing for us. She's in a concert in Scotland, but we're like, wow, what a, a great, uh, good job she did in my living room. Like we, 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 we're transfixed by the screen even though we know it's not real. So the internet is now saying like, oh, and we're gonna put thoughts in your head that say, Mankind is evil. Mankind is good. Uh, these universal truths are now up for sale. And I, I, um, I got too drunk late in the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. I, it's at this point where I become my own guest. Um, <laughs> kind of a surprise guest. So it's like, as usual, the the trope with this podcast is the question. It turns into a story. In <laughs> B with the narrative, you figure out what the actual question was, which is just a story in and of itself. It's yeah. Like a... I don't know. Yeah, I mean, what, what you said, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Frenchie. Um... Yep, hilarious. hilarious. Stacy, Stacy. It was two letters. Jean-Charles. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come oh, yeah. on. I say it in my sleep. I'm a fucking Cosmo. So good. Uh, 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 uh. Jean um, Yes, Daddy. Uh, <laughs> would you? Let, let's bring up. Let's let's let's. My question to you is: look, Can we bring up one more person? Let's bring up. Let's bring up Nova if uh, they're willing to come up, uh, just because we haven't checked in. in a, in a couple of it's time for Nova. It's time for Nova. Nova Superstar. Who's that? Soaring through the sky. It's in your mama's eye. I got the hand to the O to the V. A, -A, 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 -A. A Nova. So, Nova, the question on everyone's lips is, what are you doing with the backpack? Oh, man, I took it with me the other day. Was it, it how, what's it doing for you? I don't know what to put in it, but uh, I, need, I finally actually had a use for just like a small bag. I put a little charger in it and my wallet and stuff. Have you tried small things? Yeah, I know, yeah. I didn't oh, need to bring my things? laptop, so it was fine. All right. That's not interesting. So, the listeners may not know, but Nova got a bag. From the show weeks ago? Yeah, it was like a month and a oh, half. Oh, that ago was or the something? okay. Now yeah. I just remember that. Yeah. I wasn't the just tiny making baby random. Backpack. I brought the tiny baby backpack. I, yeah, oh. it was, that was your door prize. Uh, have you ever met a Frenchman? Yes, but it's great to meet another. It's not oh, that nicely great. Done. Huh? <laughs> it's not that great, believe me. Oh. <laughs> we are not that special. Just the accent. <laughs> just listen to it all day. <laughs> 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 You're so much more than a Frenchman, JC. <laughs> we all are. That's very nice of you to say so. Yeah. <laughs> Not Frenchy. <laughs> Fred, look, I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, Jimmy, uh, yeah. <clears throat> see how I'm juggling these balls? I'm like, I got three guests up here. I'm fucking like, I'm a pro. I got everybody in the air. Jimmy, what are your thoughts on retro video gaming? <laughs> it's more <laughs> um, I, I mean, my, all, all I had to add to that is uh, one of my friends started playing Super Mario like on his computer and then doing the Twitch stream of it. But like it was hooked, hooked up to his computer. And in my experience, it was always hooked up to that clunky console to my grandma's TV in the attic when uh, the adults were getting drunk downstairs, <laughs> you know, and it you was should such stream a trip. that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, <laughs> all right, Jean Charles, are you a modern gamer? Do you did. game? Are you playing modern video games? Do you like Fallout Some. Four? <laughs> 
all roads so go back to... So you were romancing to... those NPCs, Dan. Red. <laughs> Did you see? I, 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 I'm not pointing at you like, hey, uh, you should score a point for me. Oh. I, I, I think he but, might be. But, well, I, did, I mean, look, I, 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 went, I, I went by my character. I was fucked proud a, of you. A male ghoul. I was like, yeah, he did it. Yeah. Oh, it's a ghoul. And that, you can't stop me now. I'm fucking everybody across the wasteland. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm, I'm, just, I'm just like taking people out. Like I'm like, let's go shoot some things. I'm like, like uh, keep checking in with them. How you feeling? Did you still Hilarious. not romance that one guy though? No, the, the just... pre Preston Garvey. I won't. I'm not, I can't do it. You have to commit, man. Well, because he's you, like. You have to either commit or black. let them go. You, 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 are you saying this from a coding perspective or from a, or from a human nature perspective? You, you, that I have to let Preston into my heart? No, from a, you have to either love them or let them go back into the pixel pool where they're going to love mm, other right. AIs. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, love them or let them go. Because the elephant in the wasteland with Preston Garvey is <laughs> that there is a button that I clearly have not pushed because it's lit up, and it says, let's keep this professional. And I keep not pressing that as much as I keep not pressing romance. I keep pressing the fucking string them along button because... <laughs> No. Well, didn't you say I, it was a? Uh, didn't you say it was like uncomfortable because he was always like, "Hey, I was thinking about committing suicide," yeah. and then it's like, "Flirt." You it, know, se so. it seems wrong. It seems yeah. wrong to enable that. It like, does. Oh. Like yeah. I, I, I don't. I feel like the. I don't really actually think that the end of the game would be. Uh, fresh water restored to the commonwealth and then I'm like walking with my dog and uh, and then there's a pause and then you hear a distant gunshot well, that would be good that'd be really good and, the, and then the, and then the game that says every choice matters Hilarious. you kept enabling him he told you he wanted to kill himself and instead of talking to other people you told him good job he so said he, he didn't want to anymore though he said, he, did, he said he didn't want to anymore. Right, but... He always says that. <laughs> you know, he keeps saying that, but he also keeps bringing it up, so... <laughs> I, need, I, need, I need everybody who ever has that thought entering their head to tell anybody that they possibly feel comfortable telling it to and being absolutely unashamed of it. I do not want my relationships to start that way. <laughs> I think that's dangerous. It's unhealthy, it not dangerous. Maybe dangerous is too punitive. It's unhealthy. I, it's not the right time <laughs> to hook up. <laughs> if, if, you're, if you're like, yeah, I just finished battling the cosmos. Like, I'm not even sure if I should be breathing or not. And no, but anyways, what's your birthstone? Like, like no, you're not ready to... <laughs> to but maybe if you say flirt, then maybe he'll be like, well, I've just been having these dark thoughts, so let's take it slow. And then you'll be like, okay, cool. You know, who knows? But the relationship happen. would forever, no matter what his behavior would, would be, the relationship would be forever tainted by this idea that the coupling point was, was that, which, me, which would imply to me, logically, that if we ever broke it off, that he would be returning to the state that I met him in, which was oh, suicidal. You're right, that, that he is was saying, like, I, I Before I met you, I was thinking of committing suicide. I was like, well... Get over that, yeah. Um, uh, and, and and love every love yourself and, and all this stuff, and then let's let's both fuck around and make huge mistakes, like, like, like because neither of us are perfect, and the goal of relationships isn't perf perfection. However, definitely, if someone's like a coupling point is like the reason we should fuck right now is because I was about to kill myself. That yeah. that I think those. Tines need to have little scotch tape Best Buy things put on them. <laughs> Works for me. <laughs> <laughs> Can't tell you how many times. Jimmy, I've been you suicidal. looked. Uh, Jimmy, I saw a look in your eye. Like you, you, you're, you're like I, I yeah. could talk about this. Yeah. Well, it was just like. You're talking if, about. Listen, if, if you're, you're I, saying no, I'm, you're. I'm Dr. J. You just took away my chief move. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. I'm gonna let you finish. No, 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 no. I was. I, <laughs> That I did finish. I was not letting you finish was my thing. <laughs> that was my thing. Um, well, the way, if you say that every relationship, it's not about perfection, but then you're also talking about, uh, like, the perfect, it, like, the, the relationship's path is predetermined. So you're, like, you're saying, well, I'm not going to go into it if, if it's not perfect, you know? Oh, no, no, no. I didn't mean to imply that. I, 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 it's hard to, it's hard to talk about. There's no shared vocabulary with it. What I was saying is, 
in the kind of like uh, these sort of like all I can picture it as is uh, like sort of space modular like space station blocks and like they have like coupling points on them right like so this, this thing's got a tab and this thing's got a slot or this thing's got a thing and it's like like the way that we meet each other and the the things that we say over coffee and the things that we say over the moments leading up to us actually maybe physically consummating a relationship um, and then the all of these things like that the flux that is welding us together all I'm saying is um, if if as in the end of Speed, did you ever see Speed with Keanu Reeves and uh, Sandra Bullock? They, they, they make sure everyone knows throughout that movie, this relationship is not going to work. Why? Because it's based on speed. Yeah. It's, it, yeah. They, 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 that's a nice, refreshing thing about that action movie. They at least, they say, if there's a speed too, one of us isn't coming back. Yeah. And they both know it during speed because they're like, did you know that? Like, I think because the, the way they say it is like uh, relationships built during trauma are not going to last. What is this? Oh, oh no. Is it I'm on. <laughs> I'm on stage. <laughs> I, is that a smartwatch? Damn, fucking Oop. pick up, B. Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> dude. Motherfucker, too big shot, I guess. You big shot? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll try later. Like, let's say you and I go into a liquor store together. Um, and we go, yeah. let's, uh, let's get a lottery ticket. And then we go, oh, shit, I only have 50 cents. Uh, what do you have? I only have 50 cents. Lottery tickets, $1. So we say, let's split a lottery ticket. Um, we're going to, and then we, we make the obvious choice. Whatever we win... We'll split it, right? So we we barely know each other, or we know each other five years. I don't know, but mm -hmm. well, I should know because I'm narrating this parable. <laughs> We've known each other Figure six months. We've known each other six months. You're a, you're you're a botany intern, um, <laughs> and uh, I'm working on a new kind of dandelion. Yeah, I love I love plants. Oh. And All kinds of plants. We both needed cigarettes. We both smoke, and right. we went out. So, so right. now we've ended up going halfsies on a lottery ticket. Right. And we both put two quarters on the countertop. Cool. The guy takes them. He gives us yep. a scratch off. We scratch it off. Holy shit! Five million dollars jackpot. We scratched it off. Wow. So now you and I say, "Oh my god! Holy shit! We just won the lottery together." Um, here's the things that are reasonable to say. We're both going to get half of a lottery jackpot. Um, this is a great day. Um, we're doing awesome. Here's some things that are awful to say in that moment. Let's get married. <laughs> You're my best friend. Like, 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 as harmless as that may seem, if it's based on that moment, it's you're building it on this thing that's not real. That That's what I was saying about the suicidality kind of thing, where it's like, Jesus Christ, I... Jimmy? I mean, God it's bless you. Yeah. Are you too high for this right now? No, I'm following. Oh, good. I'm tracking. I'm good. <laughs> Damn. Do you know each other? No. Oh. No, just over the Do you podcast. have that much empathy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you high? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You said that earlier. <laughs> Me oh, yeah. too. Me too. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> we should probably, yeah, we should probably stop doing the show. What? No. <laughs> we got we got a little time left. Um, <laughs> Woo, that was God, close. Really? Seems like <laughs> Jeff Davis would kill me. <laughs> we have so many questions. Look at this United Nations we have before us. Okay, we got a Frenchy. lot of things we could do. Sure, sure. Also, we could make Frenchy rap in yes, French. We got a lot of things we could oh, do. Yeah. <laughs> we got a lot of things we could do. Okay, okay, French that's rap. good. Okay, uh, Jean Charles, here's what we're gonna we're gonna do this before we do nothing else tonight. I'm gonna do a freestyle rap. And then you're gonna um, you're gonna do the um, translation. But no, no, no. Well, well, well. Uh, I mean, I, I just like if he just actually just spoke French for the uh, bridge, you know, or whatever yeah, you call hook. it. Like I just throw it to the him, and he, and he just kind of you could just say French stuff. We can say Serge Gainsbourg for the hook, and he'll oh. know how to do that shit. Serge Gainsbourg is the shit. Serge Gainsbourg. Uh -oh. Yeah. Mm. Oh shit. So he's like, he's like the French oh, no. Neil Diamond slash, slash one it. half of Hall & Oates. 
Like, okay. Have you pick your half? Have you seen the series <laughs> Mad Men? No. This is okay. Um, to, to those who know Mad Men, there's they make an ad for the coffee Martinson, and the jingle for this ad in the series is actually the melody of Serge Gainsbourg. Cowboy. Couleur café. Couleur café. Café. Yeah. All right. Well, que j'aime ta couleur café. You, can, you yeah. can do that for sure. Also, not to trivialize your uh, entire uh, country, but you could also just speak anything. You could just say. It's all the same anything. dust, you could just You could just anything. recite the ingredients to a meringue. Um, Lots of jus but, in it. And over it. Because I think what would, as, as, a, as a solipsistic American, I just think it'd be neat to hear some French talk yeah. uh, in, in, the, in the gaps between me fucking dropping mad science. science. Mad science! Angry ass chemistry for that ass! Double up on that ass! <laughs> double, double, double ass Mondays. Double, 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 double. You've got two holes. Double, 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 double ass Mondays. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh. Oh, oh shit. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, this yeah. This shit's dirty, yeah. man. Oh, yeah. Oh, Woo! my name is Truck Travis. Truck Travis. How you doing, Travis? So, sorry, what? How you uh, doing, Travis? Good. Oh, good. Truck Travis. My name is Truck Travis. Truck, what are you doing out here? No. Yeah. <laughs> no. Just trying to drive my load to the next gas station. And then Fuck we go Travis. over to the French bar. <laughs> oh. Oh, shit. Got a producer I wasn't prepared. Oh, well, okay. Well, okay. Wait. I'll call I'll call for hook. When I call uh, for a hook, I want you to sing the hook. I'll right. fill you out, Dan. I got Jimmy, you. Jimmy, what the fuck? Jimmy, you too. Jimmy, you too high to no crawl out hook right now. Sorry. This is well, some it's crazy impressive cop that you trolling. took charge, but what were you? I mean, you, there's confidence, and then there's just sociopath. Like you, you, you were just like, you're just like, hey, what are you? I'm like, my name's LL Cool J. You're like, hey, Cool J, what are you doing? And I'm like, what? And it's like, get over here. Come over here. Come over here. And then I'm like, what am I doing? And you're like, go over there. And then you're like, take it. I've been listening to too many Shrub like, <laughs> video clips. All right, let's All right. go. Well, I'm, I, let's okay. go. All right. Let's go. Let's I, go. I, I liked it, but let's I was go. expecting I thought. Let's I go. thought that you I were. I liked it, too. I let's thought go. you were. I, Fuck, Travis. It was, I didn't know you were riffing. Oh, yeah. Let's riff them more riffing. All right. Give it to them. Yo. Oh. Yo. <laughs> Shit. Rap. Machine, yo, butts, tits. My name is MC David Johansson. Dancing. Underpantsing. Stance. Hook! In. <laughs> I think the song's Oh, right. no. I got the song on the bayou. Yo, yeah, man, yo, yo, that was like a sample from like a, it was like a Moby thing. It's like some Hilarious. old al album we found. Yeah, yeah, snakes, snakes on the bayou, pythons up in the branches, rowing down the river. Taking chances, Cretans, clear water, revival on the river in Louisiana about survival. Yeah. Yo, there's a flood in my midst. I fucked your mama so hard, I changed her armpits. Yo, they used to be under, now they're over. Her armpits are shoulder pads. Yo, I know you understand. Everything is inside out where I go. Yo, I fucked your mama like a Lego. Hook! Hook! Right. A fart. Oh, yeah. I've got the snake shit to find you. Oh, come on. Pour faire une béchamel, prenez autant de beurre que de farine. Mélangez. Pour... Don't stop. Ajoutez un peu de bouillon pour le goût et peut-être un peu de lait pour délayer. Et quand c'est assez épais, eh bien, vous pouvez servir. Yeah! Yeah. yeah. Straight fromage in this bitch. 
I just straight from Mars. Oh. Yeah. And I'm just I'm so sorry you had to hear that. We didn't we had no idea he would say any of that stuff. I think <laughs> it's it's not a, the stance of Harmontown. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What did you say? Yeah. Second verse. Yeah. Second verse. <laughs> yeah. Yo. Rivers rising. Yo. Optimus Prime surprising. Yo. Decepticons hiding. Yo. Joe Biden. Oh. Dangling Chad. Yo. Pitt Brad. Yo. Clooney George. Yo. Gorge. Just women of wrestling. Grand Canyon. I fucked your mama so hard, she's still landing. Her pussy's up in the sky. I fucked her up, and then I said, why? She said, because. Hook! Il est temps de savoir que le cassis va arrêter de groseille. Il est interdit à la culture aux États-Unis. Tout simplement parce que cette plante véhicule des pestes que la nature a du mal à éliminer. Happy Dan! Oh. Yeah. Okay. That's a that's a complete wrap. That's good. Thank you, Jean Charles. Oh yeah. Thank You're you. You're very so much. welcome. Oh yeah. Yes. Yes. You know, JC looks like my high school theater teacher. Oh, it's uncanny. Shit. I wouldn't be surprised. Not Spencer, though, him specifically, with the, short, the shortness of the beard and the hair length. He looks like me. Sorry, I just, you, you guys keep talking. Don't Hard let me be. telling you to keep talking. Do you talking, know Les Miserables? I have to, I have to. Well, uh, Gene Charles, what's the deal with the travel? So are you staying with friends? How are you getting around? Do you have an RV? What's going on? Uh, I'm using public transportation or my own two feet. Like, oh, yeah. um, the day before yesterday, I had a tour of the Art Deco building in uh, downtown LA, and okay. then they took a stride through Echo Park, and that was 10 miles. Wow. Oh, damn. Not bad. Now, the, uh, LA, you can get from where we are right now to the beach. Are you going to head out to Santa Monica at all? I did. Oh, she, well, don't be coy, homie. And yeah, yeah, so again, with my architectural musings, I went from Santa Monica to Venice, and then it was more to observe the um, like the location of uh, Californication and Flaked. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. And yeah, I visited the, the Venice canals. And, Pretty dope. Uh, yeah, they are. Um, uh, I have a love of uh, like uh, craftsman buildings. Oh, there's tons of craftsmen in Echo yes. Park and Silver Lake and uh, Los yeah, Feliz. E exactly. Yeah. And um, to my shame, I think this interest shame. stems from the, the sitcom Full House. Yes. <laughs> of course, of course. Kung Fu House? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Kung Fu House. No, for Fu. the folks at Fu. home, for the folks at home, what's Kung Fu House? <laughs> I mean, we all know. Well, Kung Fu House is about this, you know, um, Washington State Sensei who perfected uh, his own brand of, obviously, Kung Fu and uh, finds his, himself with his two sons and his daughter without uh, someone to care for, for his dojo. So, <laughs> and thus, he finds a new wife, but um, she also has two daughters and a son. And uh, this, <laughs> how to, you know, marry both um, very different techniques. Because the, the, what I didn't tell you, of course, I forgot. The Is the Brady Bunch Kung Fu House? <laughs> no. I, okay, I'm just double checking. It's, it's Full House, and I was just riffing off the... Oh. Oh, All right. shit. Yeah. <laughs> well, fuck this. It's full, it's full House. Thank he was you, saying Full you. House, and I heard Kung Fu House. I did, too. And so no, fuck he was, that. I knew he said Full I House. Knew he was, I knew he was making up Kung Fu House, but I, what I didn't realize is that he was, in I order to make, a, make up Kung Fu House, he was stripping down the chassis of Full House <laughs> and adding Kung Fu fenders. I am not a very good improviser. My, uh, <laughs> my years as a uh, 
Game Master didn't very much improve uh, my faculties to improv uh, improvise on the stuff. I the feel spot. the same way. <laughs> it's true. All right. Well, it's boy, what have we learned tonight? <sighs> boy, what a night. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. <laughs> we got so much more. Let's bring the Australian to the stage. Oh, shit. What? Well, where are they going to... That... Where are they going to sit, and what's their problem? I got a ladder over here. <laughs> oh, shit. Let's give them a hand. How's it going? Jimmy? Sir? John? Charles. John Charles. Charles. Don't sweat it, man. No, Nova. Nova. I'm Jordan. Jordan? Hi. Uh, Jordan the Australian. Here you go, Jordan. Oh, shit. Thanks, uh, Just a sec. Dan, do you like that hat? I, that you, feels so loaded. I, <laughs> what am I missing? Yeah, tell me, tell me your feelings on that hat. <laughs> I have no quarrel with it. Dan, Dan what's your take on his beard? <laughs> what's going on, you guys? Is there a soccer game I don't know about happening? <laughs> am I, I going to find out, like, uh, <laughs> your countries are at war? Wait, so you wouldn't, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't say you like that hat? Mate, <laughs> it's it's a reference to our Australian tour. Oh God, like that hat, mate. mate. I'm sorry. Yeah. Give, it, give it a good belting. Right, Come oh, on, okay. do best. Sorry, do best. here we go. Okay, sorry. Look. <clears throat> Take two. <sighs> oh, oi, oh, oi, 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 oi like, oi like, oi, oi like. <laughs> I'm swapping out the phonemes. The the, the yeah. that their their I is an oi, and uh, their a is an e. Eh. Makes yeah. spelling and uh, and so on. So, and so on. resulting in the following phrase that I use to warm up for a show in Australia. <clears throat> oi. Oi, look, that hit me. Yeah! Oh, shit. True blue, man, true blue. Oh, Oi, look, that hit me. <laughs> it's genuinely a true Australian accent. The only problem good. is no Australian talks like that. Because they're a very gregarious, laid-back people. Like, no... The, the, oh, I like the, that hat, mate! <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. It's the, same, it's the same sound. The truth is, I'm nailing the accent. Yeah. Oh, I agree. Any accent specialist would tell you he's nailing the accent. The problem is, no one talks like that. <laughs> Because it's too no, hot, man. No it's one, too hot. No we one's can't. ever going through the physical <laughs> conditions <laughs> necessary to make you night. talk like that. However, I am nailing the accent. I appreciate oi, that. Oi, oi, like, oh, oi, like. Oh. I'm gonna try it with a different phrase. All right. Oi, oi, like, oi, like, oi, like, uh, 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 bag. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, we have people over all the time. He's normally super polite to them. He, I know he's been, doing this, he's been doing this for an hour and a half, and I'm so sorry. Let's first find out. I'd like, the, uh, I'd like a bag and fries. All right, god damn it. All right, god damn it. First, we're going to find out who he is. And a, sh <laughs> and a shake. So that when he punches you in the, the face, land shake. <laughs> oid, oid, like a bag and fries. The land shake. Oh shit! Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh no! The booth. So, so okay. let's get a. Uh, tell us who you are and what brings you to Harmer Towns. Uh, my name's Jordan, and um, I'm here because I've been listening to the podcast for a few years. Uh, it's crazy that I'm sitting on the stage. So right. Thanks, guys. But um, yeah, eat the, the mic. Like this, see, like me. The mic. Yeah, put, put oh, that yeah. mic right there. You go. Right, eat the mic. Yeah, yeah, Thank yeah. you so much. 
Uh, yeah, come to see you after a long time listening. So, are you like every Australian I've ever met, and I say this in the most complimentary sense? Are you? And I'm not going to use the phrase JC, walkabout. Next question. But are you thing. are you backpacking across uh, the country? <laughs> no, I'm actually um, using airplanes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh damn! I figured them out. <laughs> <laughs> Airplanes. Can I? Um, what, yeah. Can I say one are, thing? Are you? Are you? Yeah. What are you? Right, well, go ahead. Say. The first you want. most shocking de- thing I've noticed um, difference between Australia and America um, is the volume of water in your fucking toilet bowls. Oh uh, yeah. How much water do you need? It, the splashback, man. I it's... need all of that. <laughs> I'm busy later. It's a I got platter, stuff man. going <laughs> on. <laughs> Come on, how many toilet? How many American toilets have you met? Four, you may be, five. You, yeah, you and they go the wrong way around one... too. When you oh yeah, them. do more of that. We like that. Um, no, I, I, when we went to Australia, I was like, how do they? How do these toilets? They don't got any water. How are they doing it? The, the, like the toilets, they're more vertical, so I think they get more speed dropping down. <laughs> to blast them back through the pipe. I don't know how they got his physics. It's crazy. I think you're right. It's yeah. because, it's, I it's, think yeah, so. It's, be, it's because our, to, our toilets have gravity working on their sides. Yes, of course. Your yeah. toilets are working against gravity because <laughs> they're on the bottom of the earth. We have to run away from whatever we deliver. So the turd is like having to be pulled up. <laughs> like like, like the, the, the core of the earth is sucking the... The turd up through a straw, like a like a like one of those uh, Japanese uh, drinks. Uh, but what's it called? A bobi, bobo, boba. <laughs> the chocolate Bo- boba. balls. Bo- what? Boba. Boba. Yeah. 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 Boba tea. Yeah. Boba. Like a boba. Oh. That's why I'm very glad to be here. It makes a lot of mess, so yeah, glad to be <laughs> yeah. here. What do you do in Australia? Uh, I work in a hospital. What do you do uh, in the hospital? Just uh, working on computer stuff. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Can you get us? <laughs> I can get you Tylenol and a Band-Aid. Shit. <laughs> That's my clearance. That's what I can but what get do. But what are you doing here? Uh, a mate of mine just moved to New York, so coming to visit him. Damn. Oh. You're going to be mad when you find out this is L.A. <laughs> <laughs> Their maps are so different. There was a sign that there? said... There was a sign it's that like said, 30 uh, miles. Like everything's like pinched because Australia is this big on their maps. I saw a sign that said Broadway, so that's it, right? <laughs> you just take Sunset to Broadway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Practice, yeah. Um, the, uh, 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 how long? So, so, so your, your friend is moving to New York. Is your friend Australian? Yeah, yeah. He's actually in the audience at the back. Harrison. He, uh, yeah. he's in Shout Manhattan. out to Harris. Ha- ha- <laughs> Harrison. Can right? I teach you a short one? What's that? A short one, nice. It should, should be much easier. Oh yeah, to give me it. give me one. Fuck oath. Fuck. Fuck oath. Fuck earth. Fuck oath. You know, like fuck a blood, like a blood oath. Fuck earth. Fuck oath. Oh. Fuck oath. Oh. Fuck oath. Oh. Fuck oath. But what am I actually saying? Fuck oath. Yes. Oh fuck oath. Fuck oath, mate. Like like oath. Like, is it, are, yeah, you, like, are you actually saying fuck oath? No, it's yeah, yeah, oof. yeah. Don't, don't make me Because you know it down. how much I, traditional Australian society respects oath. <laughs> fuck oath. Fuck oath. Uh, uh, the the British had an had an oath. Uh, got us all sent here. Exactly. <laughs> Look at all our hats, mate. Fuck oath. <laughs> fuck oath. We like those hats. It's just it's because I learned I tried to learn the the Australian accent is the <laughs> hardest in the world. Do you reckon? To everyone but Australians. Narrow. It, 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 yeah. you, can't, you can't just fake it. It's not. I mean, you could look. Look, I'll do my I'll do a flawless British accent. Uh, give me a uh, give me a burrow. Hatfield. I heard Leeds. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's all these? See? Uh, see, it's like perfect. I, I, like, like, Give me a, give me another borough of uh, I heard Southampton. Oh, what's so wicked? <laughs> like it's easy, it's common. It's a, the, the the connection between e- English English and American English. It's like oh, you just you just all you do is you, you just you just pur- you just purse your mouth a little bit. You just you just keep things down in front. 
Australian's hard, but I've mastered it. <laughs> at, the, at the expense of having to think very hard about every syllable that I say, which is not how anyone talks. I don't know if I've made that clear. Um, to prove my point, here is uh, a flawlessly executed scene called uh, uh, a, a Day at the Hat Store. Uh, <laughs> where I will play, uh, well, actually, uh, Jordan, you will play the British uh, hat store owner, and I will play an Australian. What neighborhood are you from in Australia? I'm from uh, Brisbane. That's where oh, I'm, my no. character's going to be from. <laughs> Brisbane. Notice I didn't say Brisbane. You know why? Because oh, I'm from Brisbane. Can we, uh, can we have a little French love in there? Oh, shit. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, Jean-Charles so will come in. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> yeah. You're all right, mate. Welcome to my store, mate. Where are you from? Aren't you... Are you British? Yeah, but we colonized Australia, so it's very similar. All right. <laughs> oh, oh, oi. <laughs> we like a hit, mate. <laughs> Any, what, what types of hats specifically are you talking about? Oh, oi. <laughs> what? Type of hit. Yeah, is that is that is difficult? Is the question, <laughs> and my answer is type one. <laughs> might, more, might, 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 might. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank mate. you. And the Frenchman can tell us what type of hat type one is. Of course, it's a... Uh... What, what, what hat? <laughs> what, so, uh, sorry, sorry, uh, sorry, what hat? You're selling him a hat. The Frenchman will walk in soon, but not quite yet. Oh, oh, oh. Favor, show him the felt hat. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Thank you. Oh, oui, oui. It's a felt hat. Oh, oh I love felt hats. <laughs> <laughs> Mate? Mike. 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 The Frenchman comes in to rob the hat store. Oh. Donnez-moi vos chapeaux de feutre. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh, Give gi me your uh, felt hat. Is that past tense? Or? Just give him the hat. Oh. He refuses to leave. Did I? Until he tries it on. <laughs> Absolutely. I have a wedding coming in. <laughs> I can't find an angle. I... <laughs> Oi. Have a particular set of skills. <laughs> My. Oh, mon so. Leave their hat, hat, leave their hat, or face the wrath of me <laughs> with my particular set of skills. We'll have a two. Oh, shit. Sorry, what? Wait, <laughs> wait, wait. wait. Come get some. Uh, Come, I slept oh, to what's oh, Italian oh, there. It's in. Be careful. Left, right. Uppercut. Oh. High kick. Oh. Block. Oh, I. I am defeated. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I saved much. yes! Fuck out, you did. 
Uh, back, back in! Yeah. yeah, and then they say, they, they're clapping because they're like, stop, do, do something else now. <laughs> Change the subject. All right, that was, uh, that, was that segment. Um, all right, wow, what a show, you know? <laughs> it's just... <laughs> Who said the show has to end? It's Monday night. No one said the show ever has to go until oh, 10. I, the I, full did. Oh. I did say that. Listen, you have a ton no, you're right. Let's leave. To do. There's so much more business for us to take care of. All right, give me a beat. You know. <laughs> oh, shit. Yo, yeah, yo, yeah, oh. uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. oh, okay, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 okay, yeah, 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 all right, here we go. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Wrapping, walls, door, ceiling, foundation, soil, snake, coil, rattlesnake, strike, fangs, yikes, venom in the veins. The poison runs through me and now it's gonna rain Supreme and down on all of those I love You thought that I was a lion but now I am a dove I take flight on the wings of peace I fucked your mama so hard she gave me a Reese's piece For my trouble In a bubble Australians all let us rejoice we are young and free. The rest of that yeah. has escaped my mind. It's our national anthem. Skiddle D. Oh. <laughs> oh, like that hate. Yo, oi. Oh, like that hate, mate. Yo, oh, like that hate, mate. Yo, yo, me and my mate. Where. Buying hats. And I said to my mate, Yo, what's that? He said, Yo, I love you. I said, I also love you. The two of us did get to far. It was hard for us to talk. Vegemite. Purple ointment. Band-Aids. Yo, Building Cubers. 7. Where's Building 7? Where's Building 7? Where's Building 7? Sorry. <laughs> too soon, too soon. Back to the Future has. Okay. okay. All right. No, stop it. I mean, obviously, stop Back it before you start a new song. That's obviously that's got to be uh, 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 whatever your job title is, 101. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make that sound. <laughs> you're like you guys are. You're feeling what I'm feeling. You're looking for an out. You're looking for an ending. You want drama. You want intrigue. It, it, it's an improvised show. It, it doesn't. It's. It's not going to have a sloppy uh, uh, ending. Yes, it is. Uh, <laughs> Let's see. Quick fire questions. Yes, Nova. I don't have any. I was oh. just saying we should do quick fire questions. All right. Uh, questions for Nova. <laughs> oh, uh, 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 Nova. Do you have any quick fire questions? No. Okay. <laughs> quick fire questions. Who's got them? Uh, Dan. <laughs> Yes, Spencer. How do you feel about that hat? I like it. Next. Waterland. Water, 
Water or land? Water or land? Land for the win. Tough but fair. I mean, uh, as far as preference, not a, a prediction of what we'll overcome. <laughs> Give us a little bit of a, what, uh, two things. I want to know what new fucking thing you learned, because the last time you were here, you had been all up in the hominids book, and I'm sure you have moved on to something else we could hear about. The last thing, what are you doing before you, before you leave this week? What, what, what's the thing you're going to do this week that's the thing that's been stopping you or, or you no, haven't I'm done all week? No, I'm just playing Fallout in bed. And I can't talk about anything yeah. that's going on in my real life. That's important. That's, oh, part, of, that's part of what I'm hiding from is the fact that I've entered a phase of my career in my life where I'm not actually allowed to talk about the very most important things, the most entertaining things I could ever talk about, the things that would be the most interesting for everybody to hear. <laughs> uh, I actually can't talk about them. I, I, I'm, 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 Can you tell us they're fun? I'm made a liar by a dishonest society. Uh, that's that's what happens if you, you, you become worth money. Uh, people come to you and they say, um, become a liar. Uh, here I come, I'm becoming here. Oh, welcome, welcome into my home. Uh, it's the fucking worst. I'm somehow going to survive. <laughs> yeah! I'm sure that there's something outside of work that is on the back of your head. Yeah, that's a phrase. On the back of your head. <laughs> but I can't talk. I can't. I can't no, no, no. I can't, Apart from work. I can't talk, let's not about, talk about work. Let's, let's not talk about work. Let's talk about, is there, I, you know, there's got to be a house project. There's got to be a thing, a book just to fall read. Out. I'm just playing Harmon out. Quest. Uh, we tape Harman in November. Quest. And if you go to HarmonQuest.com. Yes. <laughs> yes. If you go to HarmonQuest.com, you can find where you can get tickets. We're taping like mid-November or some shit. Uh, it's going to be in Burbank. So, yeah, we'd love it to get some people in the audience that enjoy it. Yeah, sorry to cut you off, Dan. But uh, I... It's the only thing I remembered. It was a beautiful thing. No, you didn't cut me off. Now, how do you have a live audience if it is animated? Oh, well... <laughs> <laughs> it's very... <laughs> oh, no. Woo! The Thank fall. You. Oh, oh, no. Oh. Oh, Reverend. How do you have a live audience? Uh, Reverend Corvassier, don't. <laughs> oh. I can see one of the deacons has been sneaking a sip of my Corvassier. <laughs> I told you, Dan, if you come to this church, you will need to bring him. Oh, Reverend. <laughs> Man, a drunk priest on like a cable, like a, a basic cable or free public access Christianity show, that could be something, and I'm pitching it <laughs> next week. You and me, Brandon, we're going to Netflix. Awesome. They have so much Whoops. money. Yeah, man. <laughs> so, so no back end? You'll be participating in no back end? Oh, I get back end, but let's not talk about that. No. I got it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank you so much to Nova for stopping by. Yes. That I'm is your, um, your cue to exit. We'd love to have you. you were, I'm, I'm not picking on you first. I'm going to say this to everyone who is on stage as we wind down here at Harmontown. Okay. One more time for Nova. Thank you so much, Nova. Nova! So good to see you what a the hair shooting is on point. star, Nova! <laughs> Jimmy, you will be the next contestant up to leave the stage. Thank you Jimmy! so much so much for everything. Let's hear it for you look Jimmy. fabulous. You look like a million fucking dollars. Ladies and gentlemen, please say a huge thank you to Gene Charles tonight, ladies and gentlemen. JC! You love him. He rapped oh, in French. Yeah. He rapped in French, folks. You come to Harmontown. Oh, okay. He'll pick it up. What'd he Thank say? You. He's, what picking, do? he's picking it up. Hey, no, nah, man, don't go behind us, man. <laughs> he, he he's upstage in our asses. He left a book. He was so That's polite and so European about yeah. it. He, he, he was like, I left a book. I'm going to go around and pick it up. <laughs> and now he pulls out the gun. Yeah. <laughs> so excellent. That's, I'm sorry that the entire European Union is also sliding fascist. <laughs> but see in hell, I mean... Right. That phrase is taken on a new hopeful, hopeful tone. <laughs> you too. You too. Don't you have like kind of a Hitler down there? Pauline Hanson. Oh, Pauline God Hansen. bless all of us. There's just every, every continent across the planet. Boy, when have we ever seen that happen? Right before what? 
And on that no, me good retiring? night, everyone. <laughs> this has been Harmon Town. Oh, shit. We love you so much. Spencer Crittenden, Dan Harmon, our friend the Australian, God knows, Zach McKeever, Chris Boroff, Sarah Hill, Nolan Fabricus. I've been Brandon Johnson, and we miss you, Jeff Davis. Good night. Thank you, the lovely Dynasty Theater. Church, we love you. Good night. Did you get any of that? It's a good show.